What is up gamers, Screwstone here, and as most of us expected, the PlayStation 4 was officially announced February 20. They gave us the specs, showed us what it's capable of, and provided examples using gameplay of some of the upcoming titles. Out of all the games they showed that night, Killzone Shadowfall and Watch Dogs are the only titles that have been confirmed to be launch titles for the PlayStation 4. But before we begin to talk about the new features, the PS4 will play used games. There was a rumor going around that you would not be able to play the same disc on different PS4s. I don't know who came up with that, but I do know that it's not true. Also, for some reason, Amazon is selling Watch Dogs for the PlayStation 4 for 100 bucks. I don't know why, but Sony has already confirmed that PS4 games will remain at 60 bucks. Now, let's talk about the improved PlayStation Store. The PSN Store will no longer look the same for everyone. It will now advertise games on the front page depending on the games you play. So if you own mostly shooters, you'll find those types of games in your front page. And I'm guessing that they'll advertise DLC for the games that you own instead of showing DLC for the most played games like Call of Duty. You will also see which games your friends have been buying, which is great advertising because if your friends are playing it, there is a higher chance that you want to give it a try. Hopefully, the PlayStation Store will revolve more into the games that you own and not advertise games from what your friends have been playing. They should make that into a separate section, you know? If not, it's gonna suck for the PS users who have a full friends list because all the recommendations that the store is gonna give you could just be irrelevant. There will also be demos for all games in the PlayStation Store, and the best part is you don't have to download the demo. You can instantly start playing it once you click on it. Now you can test the game and decide if it's really worth buying without asking a friend to let you borrow it. But my concern is, Will it lag? What happens when thousands of people try playing demos at the same time? Only time will tell. And this is bad news for some of you guys, that the PlayStation 4 will not have backwards compatibility. No PS3 disc or PSN download will work on the PlayStation 4. In my opinion, I honestly don't care. I know once PS4 games come out, I'm gonna start playing those and not the old ones. Uh, I'm always desperate to play a new title or a sequel, and I honestly don't see why people are upset. But for you guys, there is still some good news. Gaikai is working on something new that will allow PS4 to download PS1, PS2, and PS3 titles in the future. But it's still on the works, and not a lot of information was released about it. As an actual PS1, PS2, and PS3 disc, it is confirmed that they will not work. Moving on to the PS4 controller, it will come with a share button that will allow users to stream to their friends. And I'm guessing that the stream will go straight to their PlayStation 4 because they mentioned live streaming as a separate feature. That's right, you can stream from your console now. But as for live streaming to a bigger audience, they only mentioned Ustream, so I'm not sure if you'll be able to broadcast with others like Twitch or YouTube. And I'm also worried about the quality and if it will lag when too many users are trying to live stream. They also didn't mention if you could use your PSI toy as a face cam or if your audience can hear you when you're streaming. But I'm sure they'll be able to hear you, I don't know about the face cam, but hopefully they'll confirm some of this at E3. With the share feature, you can also share screenshots and upload videos directly from your PS4. They didn't mention it, but the rumor is you can record up to 15 minutes of gameplay. And in the conference, we saw that you can trim the video if you don't want to upload the entire gameplay. Another rumor is you will be able to upload instantly to YouTube. Every PS3 owner has been expecting cross game chat, but it wasn't possible because of the hardware. They brought it to the Vita and now the PlayStation 4. You can either group message like before or you can talk to your friends using a mic while playing in different games. Something that surprised me but don't think it's going to be useful to me was the feature that allowed your friends to take control of your game and play the level that you're stuck in, which to me, it ruins the gaming experience. You're supposed to struggle, get a little frustrated. That's what makes you feel like you won in the end. You feel rewarded when you beat something that you were having a hard time with. But it's there, we have it, and let's face it, some of us are some lazy fucks. We use glitches and other ways to beat the level, so I'm sure this feature will be useful to a lot of you. But let's say you don't want your friends to beat the level for you, just to assist you with items, give you some of their weapons in some games. No problem. Sony is giving developers the ability to allow players to share items in certain games, like the upcoming title that Capcom is working on, Deep Down, where at the end of the demonstration, a player is sending a message to a friend asking him if he can have an item. I can't wait to see if the new Dead Island game will have this feature. And last but not least, Remote Play. 
PS4 users are able to transfer the game to their PS Vita. It's not that useful for some of you, but if you play in the living room and your family wants to watch TV, you can keep playing any PS4 game in your Vita. Of course, you need to leave your PS4 on and you have to be at a distance where it can detect your Vita, so don't think you can take this on the road. And that's it gamers, those are some of the features that the PS4 will provide their users. Sony did not reveal how the PS4 looks and kept a lot of things a secret, but don't worry, I'm sure they're saving it up for E3. I know some of you were pissed, but imagine if they revealed everything on the 20th. What else would they do for the other conferences? Anyways, let me know what you think about the PS4 so far, like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to watch more of my videos, and I'll see you next time.